Okay, thanks everyone for joining. We're gonna go ahead and jump in here. Today's webinar, we are going to introduce to you 360 maps, which is the evolution of the concept 3D map. Some quick intros. Here. My name is Carolyn. I'm the head of the client success team at Concept3D, and I'm really excited to have Jill join us today as well. She's our head of product and the mastermind behind a lot of the features that you find on our platform. So we're going to be um, co-leading this webinar, each explaining some things to you. And then uh, as our agenda goes, we'll kick off the webinar going over an overview of 360 Maps talking a little bit about the functionality, what it looks like, how it's different. Then we have a pre-recorded demo to actually show you 360 maps in the interactive map environment. We'll spend some time talking about an upgrade path. So if you are an existing interactive map customer, looking at what that process and, and timeline looks like. And then as always, we've saved some time at the end for Q&A. So as we go through this webinar, please throw any questions that you might have into that Q&A box and we'll, we'll definitely have time at the end. With all of our webinars, this is being recorded. So if you do have a colleague that is unable to attend for any reason, this will be posted on our help site shortly after the webinar. So you can feel free to reference this link. Um, and this is our last webinar for 2020. We've really enjoyed everyone who's attended our previous webinars and plan on continuing them into 2021. So to kick things off, let's talk a little bit about the interactive map styles that exist today. Uh, so moving from left to right, at a basic level, we have our base tiles within their interactive map. Some maps that we host might not have any rendering or art overlay to them. Instead, pins are just simply dropped directly onto that base tile. With these base tiles, rotation is possible because there isn't any of that um, art layer on top. Next, we have a simplified version, which we consider 2D renderings. This is typically a simplified building outline that still shows paths and sidewalks, parking lots, but it doesn't have that extra level of detail or sometimes landscaping. Then you have 3D renderings, which is our most common map that you'll see today. These are a static image format, so it is locked to that north orientation, but you do have a good level of detail as far as building windows, textures, landscape, statues, all of those things that you see in the map today. And for our webinar focus, we're going to jump into 360 maps, which is that fun, interactive, spinnable rotation tilt that you see in that image on your screen. So looking at a general overview of the 360 map feature, it is an extension of our mapping product. It uses true 3D models versus a still image that you might see today. The models extend from the platform, which is what allows you to spin and view from different orientations. Because you can look at those different orientations, you're able to pinpoint more specific visuals so for example, maybe there's an entrance to a building on the north side of a building that can't be seen today because of that locked orientation. Or maybe you have an important statue or visual aspect to campus that is just simply hidden because of the height or size of an existing building. All of those things can be more specifically called out and pinpointed because the, the map can be spinned and rotated and tilted. This is a brand new feature, so I'm gonna pass it over to Jill and she's gonna to talk to us a little bit about what features are compatible and what is not supported in this initial release. Thanks, Carolyn. Um, yeah, jumping in I, before we go into the demo, I just thought I'd go over a little bit of what you can expect to see. So this is launching in beta currently. And um, within that beta offering, we are referring to these models that can be spun and in every direction as 360 models. So we're calling it 360 buildings and 360 trees. And it does need to be on an OSM base map. Um, typically, you're going to see mostly flat ground paint plain. So not a lot of terrain, hills, mountains. And then we do still use renderings for kind of that base layer for your 2D footprints of your buildings. And that's what you'll see in the CMS, um, as well as your grassy areas, water, parking lots, roads, et cetera. 
Um, out of the box, a lot of our existing features and functionality are compatible, including directions. So you can still get directions to and from a location. You can share a specific location, including a specific building. Um, wayfinding rendered interior. So we aren't, you can't currently get that 3D spinnable interior, but you can have a top down rendering of your interiors. And we'll go over that in the demo. Map tours, pop ups. Um, you can still have those custom map tiles underneath if there's specific labels or colors you want in those base map tiles. And then our content API works no problem. Things you won't expect to see working today are Google base maps. Um, Google in particularly um, doesn't provide a lot of techn the technology needed to implement this to their developers. They keep a lot of that kind of homegrown. So we'll see how Google grows and what they expose to us in the near future and if we can support this for Google base maps or not. Um, generate print map, that's, that is in the works, but that is um, not working today. Um, you can't access our models via API and um, they aren't currently displaying if you have your 3D map in your in 360 tour. Um, lastly, some of the details you see in renderings today, such as bushes, benches, stop signs, et cetera, we aren't modeling those out today from a performance perspective, but that's something you might be able to see in the future. Um, and those 3D interiors as well are, like I said, not supported, but those are coming in 2021. So exciting information there. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the demo. We did, whoops, we did pre-record it um, just to ensure that we could give the best performance with the screen share. Let me go ahead and there we go. Jill, we are not hearing the audio from the video. Oops, sorry about that. Let me double check. I apologize. No problem. We're doing it live. <laughs> you can practice and practice, but you still got to remember to click that little button. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Thanks for Perfect. joining us to learn more about 360 Maps, the newest feature of the interactive map product at Concept3D. We're very excited to launch this feature as it's been in the works for a couple years now, and it's really been the true dream of the Concept3D platform for some time. What you're looking at is the 360 map of Baldwin Wallace University. They participated in our alpha program and are still working with us to enhance the features and functionality of 360 maps. As you as I zoom in, you'll notice additional detail begin to load in the buildings. Concept 3D uses a combination of textures, technology, and advanced 3D modeling skills to create this experience. Additional detail loads as you zoom in to allow for better performance at all zoom levels. To navigate the map, we have some new map controls on the right-hand side. Go ahead and take a look at the third button down from the top, the arrow. If you click this, it will give you a quick 90 degree spin of the map. This allows you to quickly view the different orientations. You can use the button right below it, the four squares, to toggle the map from top down to side pitch to view the map at a tilt easily. Lastly, I'll show you the button at the very bottom of the map controls, the two arrows. The dark arrow will always point true north. And if, if at any time you want to reorient the orientation, simply click the button and it will take you back to true north. You can also click and drag to 
spin the map using this button. Other ways to spin the map are to right click and to spin, control and left click if you have a keyboard, or to simply grab the map and pan. This is another way to just explore. You can always use your keyboard controls, your arrow keys, and your plus and minus buttons to do that as well. You'll notice on the left-hand side that the Concept3 sidebar, 3D sidebar is still there. This, is feature, this feature integrates with your existing 3D map, and therefore all your existing content can remain. You can turn on and off any category and open locations just as you would previously. Also, you can use the content of your existing map and associate that to a building. So you'll notice some buildings don't highlight, but others do. You can associate any marker location that's already in your interactive map with a building. So when you click on that building, that marker location will open. All marker types, features, and functionality are supported. We do recommend utilizing polygons for things like parking lots or grassy areas, and less for things like buildings. For these, you should associate a marker and allow the single click and hover. That hover color can be any color as well, and that is all managed in the 360 Maps Builder, which is part of the content management system. Three hundred and sixty Maps will also work with wayfinding if you're a wayfinding client, but it does take wayfinding to that next level. You're now able to really see the pathways that you're taking from every angle in view. What doorway are you actually going in? Zoom around, understand, add that extra level of detail to the map. If you love your 3D rendering and you still want to be able to feature that, you can easily toggle between the 3D rendering and the 360 map. You can do this in a number of different ways. If you're also an interior client's client or a client that utilizes our interiors feature, no problem. We can still go top down and display your existing interiors on the map. This is another map that we use for demoing and I love showing the stadium in this one. I believe 360 Maps just takes the modeled stadiums to the next level. Use cases like an athletics map with 3D models in 360 Maps format is a great use case of 360 Maps. That's the quick overview of 360 Maps. Looking forward to your questions. Thanks, Jill, that was great. So now that you've seen a little bit of an overview of 360 Maps, what is supported, what isn't, uh, there's a demo as well. We do have a link that you can explore on your own, which we'll share in just a bit, but let's talk about what the upgrade process looks like. So if you are an existing map client, there is an additional subscription and small setup cost that's dependent on your campus size and design. So the first step of the process is that statement of work. Once that's underway, you'll want to provide any content for new buildings only. So as Jill mentioned in her demo, we can utilize the existing content for all of the locations that you've built out, the parking lots, all of that map content that you have today will stay in place. There's no need to recreate the wheel there. Similar to the initial um, startup of your map will go through a draft and revision process because now we need to review the other sides of the buildings and areas to make sure that everything is accurate and, and well depicted. So we'll go through some rounds of revisions, look at a final review, 
And then the final stage is to enable 360 maps on your existing map ID. As this is a new feature and newer technology, there are some, uh, there are some ideal characteristics to ensure best performance here. Um, so Jill, if you wanna hit the next slide. You'll notice them here. Jill pointed them out um, a little bit earlier, that flat terrain bit. So in an ideal situation, your campus would be under 100 buildings and mostly flat. That said, if you're still excited about 360 maps and you're interested in it, and maybe you have more than 100 buildings or some of the um, features that weren't supported are important to you, we absolutely still wanna to talk to you to learn about your use cases, there might be room to get creative and work towards 360 maps with you. So definitely still reach out and we can explore that further. If you're interested in getting a quote um, for what your particular map and campus might look like for 360 maps, reach out to your client success manager and we can talk through uh, the whole process again, looking at your campus specifically, understand what's important to you about 360 maps and go from there. So now we've got some time for questions. There is the link to explore on your own device. So we'll leave this slide up here. If you wanna jot down that link, it's gonna be map ID 1883. So feel free to play around with that using the toggles that Jill went through in the demo. And we will jump into Q&A.